Hi everyone, my name is Alenda Chang and I'm an associate professor at the University of California, Santa Barbara. And I'm really happy to be part of the Games for Our Future game jam. Um, and as you'll see in a second, this is right up my alley. Um, so I just actually released a book in December uh, called Playing Nature, Ecology and Video Games, which is all about my sort of lifelong um, love for video games as well as science and the environment. And um, I think the main message I want you to take away from today's talk is that nature and technology don't have to be mutually exclusive. They don't need to be enemies to each other. And in fact, there are many really interesting ways to reconcile those two interests or those two loves in my case. So I actually have an article coming out in uh, an art journal um, very soon that is a manifesto for what I call rambunctious game design. And um, I took the liberty of just taking some of the sort of principles or commandments of that article uh, and listing them here as um, a way of getting your inspiration flowing. And I don't have time to talk about all of them, but I do want to say that a really interesting game about climate or about the environment or about the communities that all of these issues impact doesn't have to be graphically intensive. In fact, a lot of really interesting games are using only text. Um, and they also don't need to be serious. They don't need to be didactic or reprimanding or scolding. Um, and a lot of these games are actually kind of funny or irreverent or ironic, um, maybe even titillating or sad. And I think that we do need to find games or look at games like Walden, which was developed by Tracy Fullerton and a team at USC and takes Thoreau's uh, pivotal work um, about living on Walden Pond and transforms it into a game-like experience. And the entire category of walkers or walking simulator games, I think, is interesting in this respect because it shows us what kinds of other verbs we could use in games that are not just uh, using or exploiting or uh, fighting or destroying, but also exploring, seeing, looking, um, caring for um, another um, in fact, a game that I made called Corridors with a student in Taehwang uh, is largely about what you don't do. Um, it's about how do you modify human infrastructure so that other species can actually coexist with us on this planet. And a lot of it is about turning things off, driving more slowly, um, being patient and observant. Uh, it's not something we typically do in games. Um, games should also surprise us. I'm always really delighted when a game environment or when things that are not completely under the player's control sort of rear their heads. And of course, this is the game du jour right now, Animal Crossing. Um, but the idea of shaking a tree and then uh, getting stung by wasps or by tarantula at night uh, is actually really exciting and reminds us that we're part of a, a bigger picture. Um, there are games where you can take the role of the animals themselves or of um, even geological phenomena like mountain. This is from Might and Delight, um, the original shelter where you play as a mother badger taking care of her cubs. Um, and there's also this idea that games and game design could take us outside more, uh, whether it's through an ARG kind of format or a mixed um, hybrid format, or even just in the process of designing and doing research. And I'm really inspired by Campo Santo um, and the game Firewatch, which definitely drew from their experience going camping in the national parks and also modeling in-game assets, which you see on the left, um, on actual fire lookouts in national parks um, on the right. And I myself worked on a game that actually never came out, um, but it was about asthma in the Central Valley of California. And uh, for that, we also spent a lot of time going to the Central Valley, talking to community stakeholders in Fresno, like doctors, airboard officials, um, uh, community activists, families, uh, farmers. And I think that's um, something that could be really useful in this uh, particular Game Jam challenge. And um, I would also leave you with this longish quote from the end of On the Origin of Species, where Darwin uh, famously contemplates an entangled bank and the diversity of species that lives within it. 
Um, just to remind you that what you do as game designers is not so different from what scientists do when they do their work. You both have to create um, and design problems and their solutions. You have to contemplate who or what has agency in the world around you. You have to think about what the dependent and the independent variables are. And you also ultimately have to be inspired by a sense of wonder. And I think uh, this is something that is critical as we make games that will hopefully change our future and, and change our attitudes toward it. So thank you. I uh, look forward to talking to you and good luck.